in the mystical hills of Arunachal Pradesh, riders from all over the country made their way together towards Tawang for what was the making of one of the highest mountain biking races in India. This is MTB Tawang 2018. Riders arrived in Itanagar, the capital city of Arunachal Pradesh, which also happens to be the starting point of the race. Here, the riders were briefed and they familiarized themselves with the stages that they were going to be facing for the next six days. This year, the race witnessed riders from Manipur, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Delhi, Assam and Meghalaya. The inaugural ceremony kicked off on a bright sunny morning with the rider setting off on a fun acclimatization ride from Itanagar to Nahalo. This was an initial ride before the final race began in order to get the riders to get a sense of their riding conditions and surroundings before they set off. Stage 1 was flagged off from Naharlavan to Sagali, covering a distance of 71 kilometers on tarmac roads amidst the newly opened Trans Arunachal Highway. I am Dr. Kiara Mitesh. Uh, I am in charge of Adventure Cell and uh, side by side I am the technical director of this MTV Tawang Challenge. Uh, this MTV Tawang Challenge is organized by the uh, Department of Sports and Youth Affairs, Government of Arunachal Pradesh in collaboration with Spoke of Guwahati. They are supporting the event. Stage 2 was flagged off from Sagali. This route, also falling on the Trans Arunachal Highway, had one of the most amazing sceneries in the state. Crossing through the beautiful Papo Valley, amongst others, this route was a real visual treat to the right. The youngest participant of MTV Tawang 2018 was 14-year-old Malav Dutta. So MTV Tawang first stage is for Yatama Bhut, Notun Notun Riders, Log Paisaru, Bhut Notun Notun Experience Paisaru. Organizer to Bhut Bhale Korea se aru, mane amak sobe Bhut support kaise se aru, mane muk koru hisabe mane. Stage 3 was flagged off from Sepa and was set to finish in Nagmandi.
This route consisted of 70% uneven gravel roads passing through many landslide-prone areas. The race that saw riders experience a different kind of thrill ended at zero point due to road blockage caused by an active landslide. Oh, MDV Tamangmur second time hai. So, jo abaro amar route to bale kaise le? Abaro to nothon route hai. So, nothon highway. So, lai bhot dhala gaye se. So, kali par amar apko agoni se route hoga aro. Steep climb down, bhot dhuniya challenging meta Tamang race hai. So, tamhi. <laughs> the evening at Nagmandir had something in store for all the riders. A mini cultural event took place around a bonfire to beat the chill of the winter air. And all the participants showcased their talents in the form of music, dance, martial arts, amongst others. Stage 4 was comparatively easier than all the other stages as 60% of the route consisted of gradual descents. Flagged off from Nagmandir and ending in Dirang, this stage saw a dramatic change in the leaderboards. Nimas Dirang hosted the riders and officials for the night. The director, Nimas, enlightened the riders and officials with the potential that various adventure sports opportunities that lie in the country and how to take them forward. This was truly an enlightening session for all present. Stage 5 was considered to be the toughest stage of the entire race. Flagged off from Dirang to Sela Pass, this route had an elevation of 9,530 feet consisting of terrain that was made of tarmac and gravel roads.
reaching up to a height of 13,700 feet above mean sea level. This route is also considered as one of the highest motorable roads in India. The final stage of the race on day 6 had a comparatively smaller route as compared to the other stages. Comprising of approximately 45 km from Jung to Tawang Gate, once all the riders crossed the finish line, they were taken to attend the ongoing Tawang Festival. Apart from challenging terrain, beautiful valleys and ever-changing road conditions, Tawang was chosen as the home ground for this MTB race so as to coincide the six-day extravaganza with the ongoing Tawang festival. My name is Alim Batumle from Nagaland. Uh, my performance is not good uh, comparing to the last year. Uh, this is my first experience in MTB Tawang and uh, this, this was a great experience for me. It was it was quite tough uh, while passing through the Sela Pass. I'm Rakesh Anu, I'm from Nainital and we have a WTH Biking Walk to Himalaya Walk to Himalaya Mohamed sponsor. It was my first time in MTB Tawang, so it was a good experience. It was a good experience on the road. और सिला पास भी अच्छा जगह था, क्लाइम अच्छा लगा उसका सिला पास का, और स्टेजेस भी अच्छा था, डिस्टेंस भी अच्छा था, और क्लाइम भी अच्छा था। My name is Kevin Lopezuso, I am from Nagaland and I am representing Team Walk to Himalaya. So this year it's my second time here participating in MTB Tawa, and I think my performance was much better than last year. आए यहाँ पर राइड करने रेस करने के लिए आए पर थोड़ा सा प्रिपेयर होके आए और अच्छे से प्रैक्टिस करके आए क्योंकि लंबा इंडोरेंस रेस है और थोड़ा हाई एल्टीट्यूड वाला रेस है तो उसके लिए बहुत अच्छे से प्रिपरेशन होने चाहिए Tawang Festival itself serves as a cultural integration amongst riders coming from various parts of the country. This year, Innes Ali from Guwahati, who represents Spoke Hub Cycling, bagged the first position with a time lead of 29 minutes. Followed by Rakesh Rana from Uttarakhand. Kevi Lobo Zotsu from Nagli, both sponsored by Walk to Mali. Overall, this year, MTV Tawang Challenge had been a great success with all the help from fellow volunteers who dedicated many a day and night into making this event possible. We are here organized here. My name is Takat Tamut and Everest Takat Tamut. The MTV Tawang Challenge is organized by the Department of Youth Affairs. So, we are here for the first time for the tourism development. और एक तो यूथ को एम्पावर्ड करने के लिए एडवेंचर स्पोर्ट्स में लाने के लिए है और यहाँ जो अभी तवांग फेस्टिवल हो रहा है इसका प्रमोशन के लिए भी हम लोग जो ये राइट ऑर्गेनाइज करते हैं। Until next year, this is Wacky Talkie signing off.